Over the last few weeks, I have shown three different ways to capture your Oculus Quest 2 gameplay depending on how you're playing it, whether it's with Virtual Desktop, AirLink, or the native games on the Oculus Quest. Now, I showed all of that and how to do it on a singular PC, but I stream with two PCs. I have my gaming PC and my streaming PC. It's a little bit of a different setup and I haven't seen anybody do this, so I thought I would go through it together and show you how I figured mine out. Hey, what's up everybody, Dimitri of Cadet Gaming here, and today we're gonna go over how I have my two PC stream set up, um, mainly for the virtual desktop and the AirLink setup. If you're gonna be playing native Oculus games, I don't suggest that you capture your gaming PC at all. I suggest that you just use the methods that I showed on your streaming PC and uh, just leave your gaming PC entirely out of this if you have a two PC setup. This is only useful if you're gonna be playing PC VR games. If you end up finding anything in this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and uh, let's just hop right into it. So as many people know, voice meter is a fantastic tool that I use a lot. I know that a lot of people do have difficulties using it. I've been using it for such a long time. I, I haven't run into any major difficulties, uh, nothing that I've been, I haven't been able to figure out. And with this two PC setup, it is vital to have something similar, at least. I'm gonna show you how to use voice meter, but if you use another piece of software, another virtual audio cable, um, anything like that, you can use those, but I'm gonna show it all using voice meter. Now, the reason that voice meter is so important for this setup is actually sending over the microphone audio from your gaming computer, which is gonna be your actual oculus headset microphone sending that from this computer over to the streaming computer so that your stream or your recording can hear you now you can see here i have the two different microphone setups so one if i'm using virtual desktop the second one if i'm using airlink so this is the oculus airlink so i have my gaming computer hooked up to my mixer and my mixer being inputted into my streaming computer so what I want to do is I want to send these microphones down the same output as what's going to my mixer so that it'll pick that all up together and it'll throw it to the streaming computer. The only issue with this is that your microphone audio and the game audio is going to be mixed together. So if you don't typically do that, it can be a little bit of a problem. If you have some kind of uh, USB um, audio interface, you can separate that if you really wanted to. Um, but this is the way I have it done. I haven't had any issues with it so far and um, It's been working great for me. It's a really good solution And this was something that it took me a couple days to figure out exactly how I wanted it to work So as you see here, they're both going out to a1 So a1 is going out to my speakers and that is what also grabs my voice meter Input which is like basically all my audio and that's what goes to my mixer Now you'll also see that I have b2 here selected and B2 is just the uh, microphone um, virtual audio cable that I use for Discord so that Discord can uh, use these microphones when I'm uh, playing games with my friends and I personally don't like the party chat and stuff in most of the VR games and I don't like the party chat in Oculus so we try to use Discord as much as possible and this is what allows that to work properly without having to change inputs every time I put the headset on. So just to show you this, that this works, I have AirLink started up on the headset. Um, I have it connected to the computer. And as you can see, the headset microphone for the Oculus here is picking up all my voice. And if I clicked A1, you would be able to hear that on stream twice. So let me switch over to that real quick. All right, so now you're listening to the Oculus microphone instead of the Rode uh, microphone that I typically use. Now, I record all of my YouTube videos using the streaming computer, so this is exactly how it would sound on my stream and in any of my recordings. Um, and as you can tell, it sounds pretty good and it works pretty well. And yeah, this is the meat and potatoes of this setup. Everything else would be exactly how you would typically do on a two PC setup. You would capture your captured card as a device. You set up your audio devices, depending on how you're sending that audio over, and you're good to go. But 
this is the most important thing for sending that microphone over so that you don't run into the issue that you have when you play native Oculus games where you end up having to use the like desktop mic. Being able to use the headset mic means that if you're facing away from your computer um, and or you're just standing further away from your computer, stream can still hear you pretty well. The microphone is decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent and it's good enough. And it sounds better than not being able to hear you properly because you're not facing the microphone. So that was a huge thing for me. And it's the main reason why I play 99% of my games as PC VR games. Um, I'll play them through the Oculus app if I have it on Oculus. I'll play it from Steam if I have it on Steam. Uh, I typically wouldn't stream or record anything that's native on the Oculus unless I really have to. So like I said, I've been having a really great time uh, streaming VR games. It's been awesome. Um, I find that I got the Oculus at the perfect time now that I have virtual desktop and AirLink as options. I've been leaning towards virtual desktop more because I have that 120 hertz support with fully wireless, which has been really, really, really nice. 120 hertz is super smooth and it's really nice to have, but having AirLink as an option is really great as well. It allows me to play the Oculus games um, with a lot more stability. Sometimes the Oculus games won't recognize that I'm using an Oculus device if I do it through virtual desktop, so I have to do it through AirLink but I have been leaning more on virtual desktop and I find personally the quality between the two of them is very similar. I have my router in the same area as my computer and everything. So quality wise, I haven't really noticed that much of a difference, but I have been leaning more towards virtual desktop for that 120 Hertz refresh rate, but that's it. Very straightforward. Uh, once I got this all figured out, it was very easy but it did take me a little while to get it figured out and figure out the best way for me to route this audio uh, between the two computers in order to have a good stream. My first couple of streams were a little botchy, they were a little messy, but once I got it all figured out, since then things have been good and I think people have really enjoyed watching me um, make a fool of myself in VR. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, or suggestions in the comment section below. All of these things really help with the algorithm. And I really do enjoy seeing your feedback, seeing your suggestions, and I try to reply back to any and all questions as quickly as possible. Also, please leave a comment if you wanna see any more VR content. Um, I don't wanna focus on VR, but I have been using this quite a bit. I've been doing a lot of research. Um, as you can see, I've been getting quite a few accessories and um, I'd love to go over more of it. So if you guys wanna see more VR content from me, please let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to do so. If you have any more deeper questions that you wanna have more of a discussion with or you wanna find people with similar interests, feel free to join the Discord. I'll leave a link in the video description below for that. Lots of people in there, lots of friendly faces. Uh, try to keep it as active as I possibly can. So feel free to join, great to see you there. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. Uh, you're more than welcome to ask any questions there and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Sometimes people get me at a really bad time where I'm in the middle of a fight or something and I don't look at chat right away. I'm not ignoring you. I will look at chat as quickly as I can. Sometimes I just don't notice it and I get so tunneled visioned on a game uh, that I don't realize there was a new message. So just keep that in mind, but I'd love to see you there. I'd love to see you say hello. And I really enjoy talking with everybody that stops by the stream. Thank you so much for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Friday.